Okay, well, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, and how I got into music, I suppose, would be my, my parents mostly. My family is uh, always always been around music you know I've always grown up around that kind of stuff and you know I was grew up on oldies and my parents were my, both of my parents are from Louisiana actually so I got a lot of family in that area and um, my family you know way back has always been into music I've got an uncle who's in a band and tours casinos and all that but um, you know it was my parents who started me out and my mom always says I've been singing since I was you know three years old and I uh, haven't really stopped since I suppose so but um that's so, about it from Alabama, Bama boy. Um, well, um, I'm a junior in, in college at Ole Miss, and um, I I just really liked the, the you know obviously I'm into the blues, and I really liked the atmosphere here and the culture, and I just wanted to be kind of surrounded by it, and so that's why it really brought me here. You know, I've got a great group of friends who I play for all the time, and they enjoy it as well, so it's nice. I really don't. I haven't. Um, my friend, my roommates mostly are the ones who I play for, uh, in my family. But uh, I haven't really uh, played any many places yet. Is there a reason why? No real reason. I'm, I lack ambition, perhaps. Is, is the real reason? Is that what my mom? That's what my mom would say. But um, uh, you know, I just haven't really been aggressive about it. You know. <laughs> well, I've got I, th those aren't my songs that I've been playing for you. Those are other people's songs. I got a couple songs up my sleeve, perhaps pretty far up there maybe but um that's really why I don't play that many places because you know I feel like I need to get an original repertoire before I start doing anything like that but I'm working on it slowly but surely but um my influences you know I the, the classics you know Bob Dylan the band Allman Brothers uh, that's what I really kind of when I was you know 15 16 started listening to I got really into the Grateful Dead for a long time and once I hit that road I you know I started realized what kind of band they were and how they were kind of musical archivists and archiving Americana, you know, and folk music, and, you know, they were all into the blues and, like, you know, recovering these songs from, that have been lost, you know, through history, and that's, you know, a lot of what I listen to and a lot of my influences are old songs that nobody knows, you know, that's a lot of what I play, actually, so, just, you know, that's what I like the most. I'm actually a political science major, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, I've just started recently started interning uh, interning at uh, Thacker Mountain Radio, and so I've been doing some stuff for them. So that's kind of it'd be good. But um, well, um, I mean, I listen to a lot of R.L. Burnside, obviously. You know, he, he's from the area, and um, I guess he's not local anymore. But um, um, that kind of Mississippi John Hurt, you know, or well, Mississippi. Uh, <laughs> now you're getting me. <laughs> um, um, next question. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Botch that one. Burnside. Yeah, all Burnside. How about the other Burnsides? Yeah, I've, you know, I've, I've met them in bars, but I um, haven't really listened to much of their stuff. I, you know, I've heard good things, but I just haven't really looked into it that much. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of my friends get, get on to me about, um, playing songs that are so old that nobody knows what they are, you know, and so, you know, I, I, but I try to, I'm trying to reinvigorate this lost, you know, sense of folk that, you know, and all these old, you know, train songs and cowboy songs that nobody knows, you know, the Woody Guthrie types people, and I'm just, I'm, I, I'm as much of a historian as I am a, a musician, you know, and I think that's part of it, and I think they blend well together, and that's why I like, you know, looking at songs, you know, a lot of the music I listen to is, music before World War II, you know, that kind of stuff. So what is, what is your, if you had to pick one song that has like the best story, like what is it? One song that has the best story, I've always said that When I Paint My Masterpiece by uh, Bob Dylan is has the best story because. Can you say, give some lyrics? <laughs> oh, the streets of Rome are filled with rubble, ancient footprints everywhere. Um, you almost think that you're seeing double. I, lo I just I love the story it tells. You know, it talks about the coliseums and fighting lions and wasting time. I love that. It's great stuff. But um, that song's awesome, especially by the band. It's my favorite version of it. But um, I'm Will Eccles, and this has been my Oxford session.